All right, man, so look, we're back at it again with another crazy video. But before we get to the video, I need y'all to answer the poll question of the day, all right? So what is something that you regret doing as a teenager? It could be something that you regret doing. It could be something that you regret that you didn't do. Whatever it is, what is something that you regret doing or not doing as a teenager? It could be starting a business, whatever. I don't know. Okay, I'm still a teenager, so I can't even answer the question for y'all. But I know a lot of y'all is older than me, so I want to know. What is something that you regret? Without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. Also, I got a podcast channel on the link description box below. We just hit 200 subs. I appreciate y'all with all my heart, but keep on subbing. Keep on subbing, because I'm dropping my first episode next week. It's going to be fire. Without further ado, let's get into this crazy video. Let's get it. My point was that black kids in Chicago get killed every single day. Where is the Black Lives Matter in Chicago? Mm. Where are they? I've been saying that. I've been saying that for some months now. I'm still trying to find them. I'm still trying to figure it out. When black people kill black people, they don't come out and do this crap. The only time they do this crap is when the white person touches them. They are the racist. Mm. They are the racist because white people, white cops. It's wrong for a white cop to kill a black person, that's for sure. But if it matters, it shouldn't matter at all times. So what are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? You're not here to fight injustice. You're here to cause drama. will be stop violence. It's not about blacks. In a unicorn world. That's not a unicorn world. Period. Okay, sit your soul. You guys are so oppressed. Blacks are oppressed. I am black. I'm not oppressed. I am free. That's good for you. That's an individual person. What about a systemic issue? What? What? What the? Ma'am, I love your common sense. Girl, uh, uh, man, I wish I could just give you a federal hug right now. I love your common sense. You don't understand. Common sense is not common no more. We don't have that in America, really, okay? It's so many people that sold lost. They're either spiritually lost. They're physically. They're just lost in general, okay? It's a lot of people that's lost. But this woman has so much common sense. She said it's not, it's not about black. It's not. It's not stop giving black people pity. And for this white woman to come over here and try to argue with another black person that's telling you black lives just don't matter. It, they're, they matter, but they're not the only lives that matters. That's why I don't support black lives matter. Because they're not the only lives that matter. Every life matter. Jesus Christ didn't, do, didn't, didn't die on that cross for just black people. Okay? And y'all give black people so much pity like this white woman right here. You know, it, it's so funny to me that... <laughs> it's so many white people who give black people pity because they want to be accepted. They want to be accepted. That's why so many white people give black people the pity, the benefit of the doubt, the, oh, I know you've been through this and I know you've been through that. But we don't even know our ancestors to even say what we've been through. It's, it's white ancestors. It's white people who ancestors been through hell too. We don't know. We didn't live back that time. You feel me? We in a whole new age right now. And right now, like she said, I am free. I can do what I want. If I want to go get a job right now full of white people, I can do that. I can do that. I am free. I am free. I can do whatever I want. But black people don't understand that. They allow race to just, they, they allow race to divide. Okay? It's black people that allow race to divide. Because everybody in my comment section mostly be white. It's about 50%, maybe I'd say about 70% of people in my comment section that's white. And it seems like a lot of people that are white, they want, they want justice. They want uh, peace. They want to be united. They want all of that. But it's always black people that's always just want to divide by race, divide by race, divide by race. Oh, I'm black, so I get this. Oh, I'm black. I, I could be this. Oh, I'm black. I'm not. Like, for real. This lady has so much common sense, bro. So much common sense, but I, man, let I'm not, let me stop. Let me stop because I will ramble on and on. That's why y'all need to go to the podcast, okay? That's my time to ramble because I, I let me let me just play. Come on. Where? I am black. I'm one individual person. What about a systemic issue? Where? I am black. I've always wanted to be. I have a like. I do what I want. You have the skills. This is a country where you have the skills. You want to do what you want. You do it. Stop. Stop forcing on people to accept that they're oppressed. They are not. I am not oppressed. I am black. Stop making people accept that they're oppressed. You're forcing a rhetoric into your mind, which is not true. That's my point. Violence is wrong. Period. It's not about blacks. You agree that whites kill black whites too. 
right? Have you seen any white person coming out and saying white life matter or white thing? No, they violence do. is wrong. They literally do all the time. Every time there's a black violence, lives matter it's a protest, violence problem. a white it's not person. A black problem. It's a what? violence problem. What? Every time there's a black lives matter protest, a white what? It, if she was trying to say that a white that white people be at Black Lives Matter protests, my whole thing with that situation is that I believe that white people go to Black Lives Matter protests because, like I said, they want to be accepted. They want to be accepted. Like even some white people don't even want to see the truth. Okay, they don't even want to see the truth. They they I believe that <laughs> I believe that these white people that be in these protests, they just like I said, they just want to be accepted. But I believe it's somewhere deep in them that no, not just Black Lives Matter. Not this is not the only life that matter because you're white, first of all. So you're basically saying that these people's lives matter over your life? You tell me black people matter more than you? You tell me black people matter more than white people? That's why I say when a white person goes to a Black Lives Matter, bro, it's all because they want to be accepted. They want black people to feel comfortable being around. They want black people to feel this and feel that and do this and do that. At the end of the day, like she said, violence is violence. It don't matter. Black, white, hood, Hispanic, it don't matter. Violence is violence at the end of the day. You can't justify that. Violence is violence. It's terrible. It's wrong, period. It's wrong for a cop. It's wrong for a white cop to kill a black person. But I'm pretty sure that about 90% of the time that a black person died by a white cop, it's for a valid reason. It's for a reason. You know, but we don't be seeing the whole story. We don't even be seeing the whole story. We see what the media put out there. The media be putting out these small clips and they make it seem so bad. So bad. Seriously, we don't be knowing the full story. We don't be knowing these people's backgrounds. We don't know none of that. We just see a white a white man pull out a gun on a cop. Uh, a white man pull out a, a gun on a, a black person. That's all we see. And then we go say, that's racist. Black lives matter. That's racist. Like, shut up, you clowns. You clowns. There's so many lives in this world. So many lives. So many different colors. And then y'all put that race. Y'all put that black. Y'all, that black on there. That's what make it worse. If you said all lives matter, I would have been all for it. But you say black. So you only tell me that this life matters. This is the only life that matters in America. This is the only life that matters around the entire world. <laughs> Man. The black skill, blacks in black neighborhoods every single day. I've never seen a black life matter in those neighborhoods. Never. Never. You know what they say? When the black person kills a black in a black neighborhood, they come out and they say, when the police comes, do you know what they tell the police? Stitches, guys, stitches. Wait, hold on. First of all, did she just say we're not looking hard enough in black neighborhoods to see that there's no black lives matter? Oh, baby, we're looking. Oh, we're looking. We can't find them. I like how she's trying to go at it with a black person that's telling her the facts. Once again, they don't want the facts. They want their opinion. They want their opinion. And and when and you know when a person get caught up, when they ain't got nothing else to say. When they say, well, you're not looking hard enough. Come with your facts, sweetheart. Come with your facts. Tell me why only black lives matter and that your life don't matter. You around all these black people. All these black people. I see probably a couple white people. You around all these black people, though. And you tell me that their lives matter more than your life. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Snitches get snitches. But if a white person kill a black person, black lives matter. Stop the hypocrisy. Nobody takes this seriously. Mm. Nobody. If it matters, it should matter in black neighborhoods. You start cleaning at home. So why don't you go? You start cleaning at home. Why don't you start? I'm not carrying anything saying black lives matter. I know I matter. Why don't you start? You guys are wasting everybody's time. Okay? You so black you about black this? more than any race. Where is the black and mother? Where is the black and mother? I am free. Don't try to make me shame on you. Tom, a shame on you? Are you serious? Let me talk. Let me. First of all, hold on. You say shame on her. It's funny how it's mo it's majority of black people in that little protest. Majority of black people. Okay, and it's funny how nobody's backing her up. How you not? How you gonna say Black Lives Matter, but you're not even backing up your own black person? Oh wait, I forgot. You don't back. You're not gonna back up black people that don't have the same viewpoint as another black person. So if they don't have the same viewpoint as you. You're not gonna back them up, even if you're black. You're not gonna back up your own brother or sister, your own skin color. You ain't gonna back them up at all. A white person is going at it with a black person, and you tell them you in the background just filming, just filming. Back her up. If Black Lives Matter, if Black Lives Matter, we supposed to stay together, right? But we don't. We don't. We don't like our own people. So how does it matter? How does it matter? It doesn't. It doesn't. And that, that's why I don't understand about this freaking, I don't understand about this generation. I don't at all. Okay. They, they take something, they just go with it. Just go with it.
It's ridiculous. It's, it's seriously ridiculous. They don't want to hear facts. They don't want to hear facts. Man, shout out to the man, shout out to the African woman, man. Shout out to her. She literally, like, she literally did her thing. Common sense. Common sense will get you so far in life. It will get you so far in life. All you gotta have is a little bit of common sense. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think about the situation. All right. Me personally, she was she hit it on the head. She hit it on the head. Hit it on the head. Black lives is not the only lives that matter, and I stand on that. I stand on that. The person watching this right now, I just want you to know your life matter. Your life matter. Does it matter more than my life? No. Does my life matter more than your life? No. All our lives are equal, and I believe that everybody's life matter no matter what. Because one thing I know is that my Lord and Savior, he got on that cross, and he died for you. He died for me. He died for her. He died for the, even, the, even the white person that was going back in. He died for all everybody. At the end of the day, so it don't matter. It don't matter who life matter. We just find more and more ways each and every day to break us up, to, to separate us. We just find more and more ways. More and more ways. Anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.